Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. I'm finally kicking off this vlog because it is 3.30 and today I've had a very relaxing, chill Saturday, which was much needed. Not gonna lie, I woke up this morning not like feeling the best in terms of just mentally. I was like, wow, I'm so tired. I've definitely been running myself on E these last couple of days. I tend to put a lot on my plate and then once I look at the plate, I'm like, okay, wow, we have a lot going on, but it's all good stress and I feel like I operate best off of feeling overwhelmed and stressed. So, I mean, I do it to myself. It's all self-induced, if you will. But I've been coaching a lot of Orange Theory classes, which has been nice. And also, I've been doing Vlogmas over on TikTok, which has been so much fun. But it's definitely made for some late nights and lots of editing and stuff and computer time. So I was like, we're going to just decompress for a little bit this morning and all of that. Plus, I decorated my apartment the other day for the holidays. Like, I just want to keep this decor up all year long. And it makes me just want to, like, hibernate in my apartment all day, every day. So the mornings are 10 times cozier now here. But I absolutely love it and I was just reading for a bit as you guys saw I picked up a holiday book this month because I do a book of the month if you guys didn't know I feel like I've chatted about them a few times in my videos but this is the best way to just get out of a little reading funk or make your reading experience 10 times better okay their team vets through hundreds of different authors and titles and then they curate a list for you to choose from that month so it takes all of the time out of searching for your next read it's nice because it helps new and emerging authors get their titles out there so that you as a reader can discover different authors or titles that you may not have found on your own but no worries if you don't like to physically read a book you can actually listen to an audiobook version instead so whatever you prefer you can choose that option and if you want to get started with it today it's just five dollars use the code sweater and you can get your first book for just five dollars definitely recommend checking it out especially if you were into hardcover fiction books they have the best price for new release hardcover fiction books which is so nice so link will be down below for you guys to check it out and get started tonight me and a bunch of my friends are heading over to our friend's house and we're having like a really cute girl girls night doing holiday cocktails together and then we all got different Christmas PJs so I'm really excited and that's gonna be so fun she lives over in Clearwater so I'm gonna head over there in just a bit but also I think I'm gonna make some Christmas cookies before I head on out I ran to Target today and found these Christmas tree cookies so I'm gonna bring these over and then also some chocolate chip cookies just a good old classic also I'm gonna try to attempt to do the chocolate chip cookie with these like you put this in the middle of it we'll see how that turns out it's funny because these Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookies are literally the most simple to make and they're like two dollars at the store but they taste so freaking good probably because you use a stick of butter but i don't care they're actually the best and sometimes you just gotta you just gotta risk it i'm not supposed to eat gluten but i don't really care <laughs> Well, look at how good the cookies turned out. You can never go wrong with the classic chocolate chip cookie. Not gonna lie, I didn't have faith in how these little mashup cookies were gonna turn out, but they look perfect. I'm packing up an overnight bag and we also are bringing the Christmas pajamas. I'm so excited. We all have different Christmas PJs. These are from Victoria's Secret last year and I got them for like $15 at the end of the season. They always have really good sales, at least Victoria's Secret does at the end of the year with like all their pajamas and stuff. So we're packing those and then also I'm going to bring leggings and a sports bra since we might go for a beach walk in the morning and get some like coffee and stuff. I'm going to grab the cookies, grab my shoes and then we should be all good to go. We're finally heading out. Here's a little outfit of the night. Wearing this sweater from Aerie. These are my favorite sweaters in the entire world. So soft. I have a cream version of this and I just wear them all the time. Yoga pants are from Gilly Hicks. And then my shoes are just these Ugg slipper dupes from Amazon. They literally feel identical to Uggs. They have like the sheet fur and everything. And they're so comfy. For dinner, we're doing a takeout sushi. So I just picked that up on my way over. And the smells in my car right now. We've got fresh cookies and then the sushi. So there's a lot going on in here right now. But anyways, I'm so hungry. I'm excited to dig into my sushi, make the drinks, and have a fun little girls night. First drink of the night! Yeah, this is all good. Oh my gosh, this is good. Paige made the first drink of the night. This is the Berry Merry Mule. It's so good. So berry, it's super merry, and it's super positive, and I love her. Hey guys. I think you got... 
Hey vlog. You got coconut milk, but I think it meant like coconut water, did it? It said milk. Oh. We had a whole discussion about this at the grocery store, but oh, I just really? used like the juicy part of it. Oh. So hopefully it's fine. Okay. What did you make? Oh, well, actually, delivering. Drink number two is Anna's drink. Yes. Give okay. her a shout out. It's a Christmas okay. margarita. So it's tequila, triple sec, pomegranate juice, lime juice. Oh my God, it's so strong. Coconut milk. <laughs> so strong. And a little bit of possess. Okay. A lot of possess. <laughs> a lot of possess. Okay, cheers. I don't think mine's the best, but yeah, I, I think, think it's I'm cute. Gonna give it so. like a three out of ten. <laughs> You know, it's really strong, but maybe a four is. because you made it. I can't taste what's strong though. Is it the lime juice? Yeah. It's the tequila for me. It's the tequila for me. <laughs> okay, but anyways, it's I cute. love you. I love you, and it's cute, and I'm. It's made with love. That's what matters. It's made with any love. It's made with any love. Cheers. Equal apple juice to equal champagne. Drink number three, I just did a little champagne with some white grape juice, some pomegranate seeds, some Granny Smith apples, and a little splash of vodka on the top. We had a, a little splash. splash. I just made oh, my drink. drink. <laughs> oh my God. Apple juice. Mine really was the worst. Tastes like grape. White milk. grape juice is fire. <laughs> either white grape or apple juice. Wait, this know. tastes like It's like grape juice. Doesn't it? It does. It tastes yeah, like this is good. Where's the bread? <laughs> right there, my cookies. What does it taste like? Church. Definitely. She had to have been in choir. This is so entertaining. <laughs> Hello, you guys. I just got back home and I'm gonna make myself a cold brew this morning before. I chat and catch up with you guys because of course we need a little cold brew action. I was gonna have hot coffee this morning, like we were all drinking hot coffee and then it is 85 degrees out right now. I swear the weather in Tampa has been hot and cold. Like you never know what to expect. And today it literally feels like summer outside, which is so deceiving because it's so dark and gloomy. I don't really know why it all of a sudden feels like a heat wave around here. But I was tempted to stop at Starbucks on my way back home. But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna wait like 25 minutes until I'm back home. I love the La Cologne cold brew. It's my personal favorite. And the Busy cold brew is also really, really good. So I always like to get this. And then I don't have any fun seasonal creamer right now. So before my sister comes into town, I definitely have to stop at Publix and do a grocery run. And when I was there the other day, I saw that they have like a peppermint mocha creamer. That would be so good in my coffee in the morning. But I usually just use this super creamy sweet cream from... I don't even know what brand this is. No idea, but it just looks like this. You can probably find it at any grocery store, but I love it because it froths so well. If you want to put like cold foam, oh, I need some ice. If you want to put cold foam on top of your coffee, it's the best. But nothing is better than my coffee at home. It's just my all time favorite. And last night was so much fun. I'm definitely like a quality time type of person. I swear anytime me and my friends hang out, it's just the most fun ever. Like we could be at a restaurant going out or whatever, or we could be just chilling at our homes, hanging out together. And I much rather prefer that. Don't get me wrong. I do love like dressing up and a fun dinner, but nothing beats just a chill, relaxing night in and it was a blast. We didn't go to bed until like three because we literally just cannot stop talking. It was so much fun. I freaking love those girls. Now I'm going to get a little bit of work done this morning. Today's Sunday, so we're gonna have a mini Sunday reset. I just have a little bit of cleaning that I wanna do around my apartment. And also we're gonna decorate my tree because I wanna show you guys. So I picked up a couple of ornaments because there's an at home on my way back here. So I thought, perfect, we're gonna stop in. I had a couple of returns to do as well. And I wanted to decorate the tree today because obviously the tree's like the main character of my living room and it doesn't feel entirely complete yet because the tree's quite bare. So picked up some variety ornament packs because I want it to have some like dimension and look really full and nice. Also found this huge pack as well. 
So got lots of options here. They are kind of like a purpley pink type of color. Ideally, I wish they were a little bit brighter pink, but I didn't really want to go search and try to find like the perfect shade of pink of ornament because does it really matter? No, it just matches the rose gold nicely, which is all that I care about. So love these. And then I also got a skirt to go under the tree as well. And I think this skirt is so cute. It's like a very thick material too. So I think that'll help give like a lot of shape and everything to the tree and look nice. Also, I just love the pattern of it and everything. Before I sit down and get some work done, I wanna show you guys my new hoodie that I just got. I have a few more packages that I got in the mail from things that I ordered during Black Friday. So I'll unbox those with you guys a little bit later, but I just threw on this hoodie because I love it. I know it's so simple, but it's like the perfect oversized comfy fit. When I tried it on, I'm like, I freaking love this. This is from Old Navy slash Gap and it was so cheap. I think it was like $25 or something and Old Navy has been popping off. So during Black Friday, I found so many solid things there and I just love this little hoodie. of packages here to unbox from Black Friday. Everything finally just came in. So we're gonna start with what I got at Free People Movement. I've been on like a huge Free People kit recently and they just have such like cute, cozy pieces. So we'll open all this up. First thing I got is just a plain black ribbed tee. I love little tees like this because I wear sweats a lot and I also really love the wash of this but I just prefer tees over like tanks and stuff and I just thought this would be really cute because it's like kind of form-fitting and I love the cut of this tee so I picked that up and then also because they were having like 15% off Black Friday at Free People Movement. I had this on my Christmas wish list but I was like I just will buy it for myself because it was on sale and I just freaking love these fleeces so much. I actually have one in like a neutral white and cream color, but I thought this would be super fun and they're so incredibly warm. I do like to size up in these, so I got this one in a medium. Sometimes I'll do like either a large as well, but these are the coziest fleeces ever and they are worth every single penny. I'm not even kidding you guys, so I'll link it down below, but I just thought that this was such a fun pattern and color and so cute. Then last thing I got from Free People Movement was this vest. I'm not sure how I'm gonna like this on or not. I got it because it looked really good on the model and I've been super into puffer vests and fleeces. And this is pretty much like a fleece slash puffer vest. I love the two types of like materials that it has going on. Or no, it's not a vest, it's like a quarter zip or a half zip, I mean. It's so cute. I just love little stuff like this. And with like a long sleeve black tee underneath, I feel like it'd be super cute with leggings. I don't know. I'll have to try it on. 
but I said it was a very simple, fun little outfit. So that's everything that I got from Free People Movement. And then Elwood. I've never shopped at Elwood Clothing, but I've seen people post about this brand. And essentially it's just like elevated basics and they were having 30% off site-wide during Black Friday. So I picked up lots of good stuff. And I'm excited to try out their stuff because like I said, people rave about it and I'm not really big into basics. I'm trying to build up like quality basics in my closet. At first I just got this white sweat set because I'm always wearing sweat sets, you guys know. I love my hoodies, I love my crew necks. So I just got an oversized white basic tee like this. Oh my gosh, I love this material. Wow, yeah, this is really nice material. Just a simple white tee, nothing too special with that. And then this long sleeve white crew. Okay, yeah, I love the oversized fit of this. You know when you pick up a crew neck and you're like, yep, I love that material of it. That's how I feel with this. So good. And it's like that perfect oversized kind of fit. Then I got some sweatpants to go with the crew neck. I honestly don't own a lot of sweatpants, just like plain sweatpants. So these look like they'll fit nice. And I have really long legs, so I'm picky about like where I get my sweatpants from. I like to get them from Aritzia. I usually get like the cozy mega sweats because they're long enough on my legs. These look like they should be fine. And they're, oh yeah, I love this material. It's not like too thick of a cotton. So, oh, I'm so excited about this. I know it's risky to get like an all white sweat set, but I'm big into my neutral colors and my basics, you guys know. And then I also just got a cropped white tee. I can link this stuff down below for you guys too, because like I said, everybody raves about their stuff and I'm a newbie. So loving it so far though. Just a simple white tee like this. It reminds me of the cut tees a little bit, except I like this material because it's not too thick of a cotton, you know? It's like a very comfortable, stretchy fit. And then I just picked up another gray or another crew neck just in this gray color it's almost like a green slash gray i think you call it like a soot gray i forget what it's called exactly but you can kind of tell i really like this color on me i feel like it matches my complexion and my hair really well so just got that and then lastly this is kind of similar to the free people tea that i got but this is just the same exact white tea as this except in this gray color i think it's called soot yeah, like a soot, smoky gray. I don't know if it says the name on it or not. Vintage gray, I guess. But again, it has like that same kind of wash as the Free People one, which I like. So it gives it like a worn in type of look. But I'm excited to try all those pieces on. I feel like they'll fit really nicely. And first impressions, definitely would repurchase from them. That was Elwood. And then this package, I believe is Skims. Let's see. Yes, God, I love Skims. They had a few things on sale for Black Friday. So I picked up this bodysuit. These are the best bodysuits without a doubt. Like if I influence you by anything, let it be these fits everybody bodysuits because they seriously are the most flattering thing in the entire world. So this really pretty red color was on sale and I thought it'd be super cute for the holidays. And honestly, just like summertime too in general when that rolls around. Look at me already thinking about summer, but I just love these so, so, so much. And then they also have this color on sale, which I picked up. It's kind of like a orangey, or like a burnt brown, I guess, or burnt orange. It just looks like this. And I thought this would be super cute under a leather jacket. I wear these all the freaking time. I have it in like a black and a rich mocha brown color. And then because I wanted to get free shipping, I picked up this set. That's girl math, you know? You won't pay $8 for shipping, but you'll pay for a whole nother outfit so i got this boxer and a tank set because i love these for sleeping at night they're so comfy seriously everything about skins is just the absolute best but these are the little boxer shorts they just have this detailing on the waistband and then this is the tank i love this red color i think it's super fun i really don't have a lot of it red in my closet either so some cute little lounge clothes, some PJs. And then lastly, I got some things from Old Navy because you know, I was saying Old Navy was popping off this Black Friday. I got a vest from there. I got this from there. So many good pieces. We'll start with the sweaters. I'm not sure how I'm gonna like these sweaters or not. Honestly, I got them because I saw somebody did like an Old Navy haul on TikTok and they looked so cute, but I'm not big into turtlenecks, so I don't know. We'll have to see, but I really like the feel of this. It's like a nice sweater material. It doesn't feel too cheapy of a material at all, but it's just this navy blue color. Definitely a pretty oversized sweater. I actually think I might really like how this looks on. I'll try it on and let you guys know in another video or something. 
but so cute. And then I got a cream colored sweater. This is like an oatmeal kind of color. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is the softest thing ever. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. I love this. This is like a quarter zip knit sweater. Oh my goodness. I can already tell this might be one of my new favorite things in the entire world. So freaking soft. Wow, I got it in a size large because I wanted it to be a little bit of an oversized fit. I thought this would be super cute under like a puffer vest or something with some leggings. Oh my God, I honestly am really impressed with this. I did not think it was gonna be like this chunky of a soft knit. So good. This I'm super excited about because I've been loving scarves recently. If you guys follow me on TikTok, lots of my outfits that I've been wearing, I will pair with scarves when it's like a little bit chillier here in Tampa. Cause the other day it was 50 degrees. So I whipped out my scarf and the scarf that I was wearing, I got from Gilly Hicks and Old Navy has a bunch of scarves as well. So I found this really pretty like emerald green, brown, orange, all like these neutral type of colors, which I thought would be super cute. Yeah. I love this. It's like the perfect thickness too, or it doesn't look too chunky. It's not like too much of a blanket scarf because I love an oversized scarf like this, but not when they're a little too blankety, you know? So loving this. Oh my God, it's so soft. I like, my toxic trait is that I live in Florida and I absolutely love Florida, but I am obsessed with fall and winter fashion. So nothing can really stop me from still buying fall and winter clothes, even though I dread the winters and I don't even live in the cold temps, but you never know. And then the last thing I got were just these pair of pajama pants. They're like that, what material do you call it? I forget what it's called, pointel. That pointel material. So very cute and cozy. I just thought these would be a cute little beach pant or something, lounging around, nothing too crazy, but I think they were on sale for like 12 or $15. Doesn't say the price on here, but yeah, they're kind of thin. Honestly, they aren't like the best of quality. I'll have to try them on to see how I actually like them, but I was ideally picturing these pants with like a cream sweater or something for like a very laid back, low key type of look, but I can link everything down below for you guys. Also, sorry, my head is like been cut off this entire frame, but I just didn't feel like setting up my tripod. And honestly, my skin is skinning right now and I probably look so incredibly tired. So I was like, mm, you guys don't need to see my face, but I really want to head to bed. However, we're going to set up my Christmas tree. We're going to watch a little Christmas movie and kind of just wind down for the night. I'm gonna figure out what Christmas would be to put on while I decorate the tree. My all time favorite Christmas movie, and honestly, one of my all time favorite movies in general is Polar Express, which is so funny because I feel like people either love it or hate it. I'm obsessed, it's so freaking cute, but they don't have that on Netflix. So I think I'm gonna watch one of like, and I think it, they have like Netflix original Christmas movies and I love those, like a cheesy rom-com type of Christmas movie are always one of my favorites. So I think we'll do, yeah, like I love the Netflix film ones, like this one, best Christmas ever. I feel like all of these like rom-com kind of Christmas movies all have like the same storyline. Let me look into the holiday section. But my Netflix is slow. What's happening? We'll watch Family Switch. This is a top 10 right now and it's a Christmas movie, so. We'll watch that. Mm -hmm. 